So right now we're going to be looking at example that apply rule number one. So let's recap why rule number one again. This is same base multiplication. And the rule is telling you to add the power. Okay, remember the power indicate the number of times the base has been multiplied. So if we go according to the rule, that will just be seven plus four. So for part B, the base can be a negative number, it doesn't matter. It is enough. The power will indicate how many times you multiply the base. So again, same base multiplication, you add the power. So if you've got three multiplication, not to worry. It's just that you're gonna multiply the, the base a lot of times. So you simply add the power. But what if you come to a question where you seem to have two different bases? So when you've got two different bases, you group the same base together. So the same base will be grouped together and you apply the same base multiplication on the those who have the same base. So here I got a base two and I got a base three. So in this question, right, we are supposed to simplify uh, we will not need to evaluate. E evaluate means you've got to punch out the final value. So in this case, we do not need to. Okay. 